Where in all the world is the perfect son or daughter of God who is totally without blemish? Is life not worth living if it is not perfect? Do not the people with handicaps also bring their own gifts to life? Those who are close to the handicap can frequently feel the nobility of the spirits confined in the different shaped bodies or who have crippled minds. Is it not possible to look beyond the canes, the wheelchairs, the braces, and the crutches into the hearts of the people who have need of these aids? They are human beings and want only to be treated as ordinary people. They may appear different, move awkwardly, and speak haltingly, but they have the same feelings. They laugh, they cry, they know discouragement and hope. They do not want to be shunned. They want to be loved for what they are inside. Many of the special ones are superior in many ways. They too are in a life of progression and new the things unfold for them each day as with us all. Room number 26, home of a cerebral palsy victim, Elaine Dart resigned to live a life with coordination only in her feet. says I can't. They are the handicap. I remember my uncle gave me a knicker and told me to pick it up with my feet. That was when I was four years old. I have been using my feet ever since then. I wanted so much to use my hands. I'm probably a nurse or a secretary, but I was unable to do so. That is why I thought that I would use my feet as hands. I like to sew. I like the needle point. I like to embody. I like to do anything I can get my feet on. Over 1,000 beads went into this necklace, each one thread and positioned by foot. Elaine's brother Ralph wanted her to try painting. He furnished her with the necessary supplies. She gave him the completed picture. This painting took over two years to complete. This embroidery six months.
determined, motivated, caring. Elaine is all these and more. Despite her restrictions, she is devout in her religious beliefs and in her halting voice will tell local church congregations or her own friends at the home her reasons why life is good. I had no shoes and I complained until I met a man who had no feet. I'm so grateful that I am who I am, even though I'm not like other people.